Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a travel vlog today because in case you can't guess by the fact that I'm squinting slightly and it looks rather hot, doesn't it? I'm actually in Tenerife. So I've come away for a few days in the sunshine with my partner to have a little bit of a break to escape the cold in the UK and just to relax. So I've come to an all-inclusive resort and I thought in this video it'd be nice to show you around in case you're thinking of booking this place it might be useful to you and I'll also insert some clips of some tours that we did as well. So lots to see here. The resort's quite big and it's on the west coast of the island. It took about two hours to get here from the airport and it was a couple of buses. So you could get here more efficiently with a taxi but I hadn't pre-booked one. And then as soon as I came out of the airport, I spied the correct bus to get. So I just thought, let's take the bus. The bus is very scenic and it also costs three euros 50 per journey. So with two buses, it was uh, seven euros per person to get here. So that was a bargain. And yes, the weather here is beautiful. So I'm here at the middle of January and we're looking at about 21 degrees. Every day there's been a little bit of cloud, a tiny bit of rain, but those are just passing showers when they come in. It was kind of like really early in the morning, didn't actually see it, but the ground was wet this morning. And yeah, although it's 21 degrees, it feels a lot hotter here. I think we're quite close to the sun here in Tenerife. So yeah, it feels quite scorchy, but I thought I'd start off the video by showing you, first of all, the room. And then we'll have a little look around the hotel. As I say, it's all inclusive. So I'll try and show you some of the food and things like that, the things that are on offer here as well. And I'll also be inserting some clips of the local area. The hotel is the Landmark Hotel and it's the Landmark Hotel Player La Arena. So the area here is called Player La Arena and the hotel is called the Landmark. And it's a four star hotel and you have booked it all inclusive with BA Holidays. Got a pretty good deal with them. So before we jump into the video, if you're new here, do click subscribe subscribe if you like travel videos I've got a whole playlist of those of my holiday recommendations for you I do lots of other things as well and if you enjoy this video then do give this one a thumbs up okay let's start off with a little look around the room so out on the balcony here I have got this map which shows you kind of like the main areas there's a couple of pools here the rooms are situated all the way along here so you can either face the pools or you can kind of face the other way which is all really lovely actually so there's no kind of bad views here as such and then you've got another pool down here that's an infinity pool i'll show you that a little bit later you need to have additional access to that one and then you've got kind of like the main complex with all the food and stuff here there's also a tennis court crazy golf and yeah this is the balcony so you get a table and a couple of chairs there's also a canopy if you want to get some shade and then the view here is down looking over the pool and then you can see beyond to the beach which is a fabulous beach really lovely down there and you can do a nice walk along the seafront and along the uh, cliffs you can also go to some beautiful pools which i had a little dip in and they are wonderful so you kind of got like rock formations and then you've got some lovely pools that you can go and have a dip in in the seawater it is so relaxing there and i highly recommend you walk along there if you do stay in this hotel because it's only about a 15 minute walk from here so definitely worth doing that if you get the opportunity so yeah we have the kind of main pool here there's another pool just up there where they're doing some aqua aerobics at the moment by the looks of things and that has a water slide as well we'll go down and have a little look at that and then up there behind all the clouds you can actually see the volcano which I took a trip to so I'm going to insert a little bit of footage of that trip later another thing that i highly recommend you do while you're here but let's take a look inside outside as well you do have a drying rack which is very handy i'm hanging up some of these things which i bought in ibiza these are fantastic to take to the beach because you can dry yourself off with these but they pack up very very small so yeah i've got a couple of those just drying and i hung that there so we could see which room this one is from down below. So yeah, we might spot that <laughs> as we head down. So let's take a look inside. So you have a nice, there's actually a sofa bed in here. So I'm not sure if they sometimes do these as triple rooms, kind of joint occupancy, but yeah, I think that can be made up into a sofa bed, maybe for families and that sort of thing. And then you've got huge bed. It can be split into twin beds as well. Just nice, simple little bedside tables in here. 
and then we've got fridge which is really handy and you can pop some drinks in there you know keep your waters cool and that sort of thing and then there is a kettle in the room television there is loads of choice of channels on the tv here if you're from the uk they've got bbc itv lots of things like that they also have lots of channels i think i saw some german channels dutch channels spanish channels and then kind of international ones as well so loads and loads of choice if you like watching your tv while you're on holiday you should be okay and then good size wardrobe plenty of space in there you can see a few of my holiday shirts <laughs> hanging up and also my warm winter coat because yeah gatwick was rather chilly flying out the rooms also have a safe you do have to pay for this i think it's three euros per day and they give you a key at reception to use the safe and then of course i've already picked up my fridge magnet it has to be done you know when i travel <laughs> plenty of space for cases as well i decided to go hand luggage only on this trip just to save some time at the airport which was great yeah so really nice room really clean i love the fact that you can open up the big doors and hear the sea in the mornings and in the evenings that is really really lovely there's a great big mirror here take your holiday outfit selfies and then we have the bathroom which has a bath with a shower in it and it also has a separate standing up shower as well so you've got the option and a decent sized sink with plenty of room around it right let's go and have a look around the hotel so from the room you walk out onto this kind of internal atrium where all the rooms are situated this kind of reminds me a little bit of being on a cruise ship and I love all the ferns that are hanging down from all of the balconies these are real I had a little <laughs> little feel of them just to check but yeah it's amazing how they're growing and you've got loads of plants down there as well so from there you walk through into what becomes the reception area this hotel is pretty massive I think it's probably well it's definitely not full at the moment but I can imagine in the summer it does get quite heaving here although there is plenty of room so if you are coming at peak time i would imagine there's plenty of space plenty of tables plenty of places to sit plenty of sun lounges all of the stuff that you might want so so don't be put off by that in the reception area they have this little reading nook which is a place where people leave novels that they may have read on holiday and don't want to take home with them lots to choose from here you have this seating area that's kind of designed like a boat and in the evenings they light up all these tables with lamps. I've seen lots of people playing cards here. I think there's a lot of people that are card playing enthusiasts. <laughs> and then there's a little gift shop over here which also has a post box if you're wanting to post some cards and it has kind of all the handy holidays essentials that you might need in there like sunglasses, they've got random kind of gifts that you might want to take home with you they've got kids toys they've also got sunscreen in there too postcards to choose from as well and yeah all of the what we call holiday tats but we all love it don't we and i've already got my fridge magnets so we won't go in there for a look they've even got suitcases in case you end up going home with more than you came with right let's go through reception there's areas here where you can book excursions so the trip that I did was a trip up the volcano and I also took the cable car. And now might be a good time to insert some footage of that trip. So let's take a look at the excursion and head up the mountain. So behind me, you can see where we're heading today and we're going to be going right to the top on a cable car. So apologies about that as you can see there is snow up here definitely bring a coat if you do this trip because it's very chilly if you want to hike right the way 
to the peak, you need a permit for that, which has to be pre-booked in advance. definitely would recommend booking onto this trip if you can. The air up here is so fresh and clean and it just feels lovely and calm up here. The views are breathtaking. definitely recommend doing that trip if you do get the opportunity to while you're here. I'll just show you the information on it. Okay, it was this one here. I'm not sure how you pronounce that actually, but um, I think it's Teed. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, you go right the way up here and they've got lots of different things to choose from. I've heard that the CM um, water park is meant to be really good as well if you're into that. Yeah, so you kind of get picked up here and go down the coast and then you have to change and pick up the tour and then you go all the way up here to the national park and then up the volcano. This area here is the Hello Bar. I think this is open pretty much all day. And yeah, it's open till midnight and it's quite big as well. It has an outdoor terrace too, which is really nice. In the evening time, they have live music on in this area. And yeah, you can sit outside here, which is lovely. Loads of space. And from up here, you get a view down to the pool and also out to the sea which is looking so stunning today so the bars have sangria on tap you've also got various soft drinks that you can just help yourself to and they also have beer on tap that you can help yourself to they also have a quite a wide range of spirits lots of them are included and then more premium ones you can pay an additional price for but you know they've got things included like malibu you've got bacardi and famous grouse whiskey, things like that are included in the all-inclusive. So some branded spirits there too. So heading down from reception, this takes you to the main kind of food court where you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner served in there. It's called the Lava Restaurant. The food's been really nice actually. They've got a really wide choice. They cook lots of fish and meats fresh. Down here, we've got some fountains. This restaurant isn't open at the moment, but there is a area here called The Show. And in the evenings in there, it's where they have different performances, live music, that sort of thing. So tonight there is the Passion for Lights. Which looks like some kind of neon light show. And then up in the Hello Bar, they have some live music and it looks like there's a saxophone player there this evening. So yeah, through there is the restaurant, but at the moment it's closed because it is before lunchtime and after breakfast. So let's go and take a little look outside. There's a photographer that goes around here, by the way, and takes pictures of people by the pool and you can then buy them as a souvenir, which isn't something that I would do personally because we've all got our camera phones these days, haven't we? But there we go. I think a lot of people have bought those because they are quite nicely taken those portraits and yeah here is where the show bar is as well you can sit outside of that in the evening time which is lovely and this area here takes you down to the pools around them you have lots of areas where you can sunbathe as well it's kind of layered up which is quite nice there's plenty of quiet spots if you just want to read and get away from the action down at the pool. I say action. <laughs> it's not party central here, that's for sure. But there's always things going on, which is nice. This is the outdoor section of the restaurant. So you can eat breakfast, lunch and dinner out here, which is lovely. And then this path takes us down to the swimming pool and then along to the next swimming pool as well. So I'll show you all of that. Just give you an idea of what it is like here. Let me know in the comments how you book your holidays. If you do get to go abroad, do you book an all-inclusive? Do you book a package deal? Do you book it all DIY yourself, you know, booking your flights separately and maybe choosing 
your accommodation separately or do you do a bit of everything? <laughs> I'm curious to know how other people do it. For this one, I just really wanted some winter sun and I had a little look to see where it was warm at this time of year and kind of not too expensive and not too far away as well. So I'm here for five nights, which is kind of perfect because it's not too long, but it's, it's long enough to feel like you've had a good break as well. So you've got all the, um, the rooms up here where we were just before. Down at the pool, you have a snack bar, which I really like because if you decide to skip breakfast or lunch or dinner, <laughs> any of the above, the temptation on these kind of holidays is just to keep eating, let's face it. <laughs> then you can just get some snacks at the snack bar, which I really like to have that option. They do some nice little things. Here it tells you what's on today. So we've got things like ping pong aqua gin at the moment. Some sort of cocktail at the hello bar. Water polo later. They sometimes have things for sale here as well. I've seen them selling kaftans and things like that. Now with the towels for the pool, you do have to pay a deposit at reception and then you can collect your towel here and keep it with you for the remainder of the trip, which I quite like because it means that there's not loads of towels left lying around everywhere. People have to look after their towels. You can get your towel replaced and laundered. You just swap it using the card that you're given. But yeah, it just means that you're given one and you look after that towel rather than there being loads and loads of towels piling up everywhere, which is, which is very nice and better for the planet, isn't it? So this is the snack bar. They have a bar in here which has cold drinks. It also has teas and coffees and that sort of thing. And then you've got food options in here as well. It's mostly kind of burgers and things down here, but Nice little olives, a few bits and pieces, but if you were just wanting a bite to eat, you've got some delicious pizza. They've got chicken paella. And we've got chips and chicken nuggets and all that kind of stuff, things to make burgers. And fresh fruit as well. They've also got little ice creams as well, if you fancy one of those when you're by the pool. And yeah, plenty of space to eat out here as well. And this area out here turns into a restaurant in the evenings. I think I'm going to be coming here tonight, so I might show you this later on. So yeah, this is the main pool. And then off to the side here, you have certain areas in the hotel that are reserved for the Platinum Club, which is something you pay a additional charge for. It's not something that I've paid for on this trip. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'd recommend it or not. I can't remember what the prices were for that. You get basically access to an infinity pool at the end there, which does look lovely. And then you get sort of different areas where you can sit to eat, but they are still within the all-inclusive rooms, if that makes sense. So you are still getting the same food, just sitting somewhere slightly different. So I guess it would depend on your budget, whether you wanted to pay that additional cost. So from here, you can walk right the way past the pool and continue going to another entrance of the hotel that's open, I think between the hours of seven in the morning until midnight, where basically you can get straight out onto the main road, which takes you down to the beach, which is really lovely. And also you have a really nice view out this way over the sea as well. It's a nice place to come at sunset time. You can bring a drink down here as well, which is really great. The hotel does also have a gym, which I'm really pleased with myself on this trip. I've actually managed to avoid it every single day. I know what you're thinking, the struggle has been real, but yeah, I just managed to not go. <laughs> so um, next up, yeah, let's go and have a look at the viewpoint over to the sea over here. Now from here, you can see down to the infinity pool, which is part of their platinum club. And then you've got some loungers all the way around there and a little bar. At nighttime, it looked really nice, they'd lit up these string lights over there. We have the beach down here and it is a lovely day today. I really like this garden area below as well that they've kind of landscaped with fountains. So yeah, this is a great spot to come in the evening and you can watch the sun setting down over the island over there. And yeah, you can do trips out to that island, which 
I think would definitely be worth doing. And yeah, down there is the beach. I went for a little stroll down there this morning, so I'll pop in a bit of footage from that now. This is the beach, which is just a couple of minutes walk from the hotel. And as you can see, the sand here is very dark. It kind of sparkles too. can't say I've ventured too far from the hotel in the evenings. With it being all inclusive, the food here has been great, as has the drinks, and there's plenty to do here. But there is a strip of little restaurants and bars along the front there. So if you fancy going out, maybe if you're here for a little bit longer and you want to do that, you definitely do have options to. And then over this side, you have some more seating. We also have some clouds, which I don't like to see. <laughs> like they're gonna pass by pretty quickly. And yeah, if you keep walking up this way and then cut down onto the coastal path, there's a lovely walk you can do that takes you to those lovely water pools by the beach and you can go for a swim. So I'll pop in a little bit of footage from the walk up in that direction now for you. They say that Tom is free. And why is it so precious? Oh, I'll say memories in my head Like Polaroids on walls They remind you to look ahead Time is running out off the terrace here in this space they do some indoor activities depending on what the schedule is for the day i've seen things like yoga happening in here but yeah before that cloud comes in i think it's time that we went and got a drink I did a bit of sunbathing i'm getting through my book so that's the plan for now and i might show you a little bit of the restaurant later on i don't think i'm gonna be able to do this one-handed here I don't know what it is but it's rather nice it's perfect on a day like today cheers everybody right actually before um, it gets busy now I'm going to try and show you lunch so that you can see all the food options show you the first pool again there's showers off to the side of it and then over here you have the water slide which I'm yet to try but you can bet I'll be getting on that before <laughs> it's home time Okay, we'll have a little look at the food options for lunch today to give you an idea. We've got some salad. We've always got loads of fresh bread, which is nice. And over here we have some croquettes, some different rices, sauces, chips. You'll see a lot of chips on these sort of holidays, won't you? <laughs> and we've got a pork steak being cooked here and mackerel, that smells lovely. Loads more salad options over here. Pasta, then we've got things like beef stew. Brussels sprouts, au gratin, interesting. <laughs> then we have some uh, rice dishes here, some potato wedges, chicken. 
finding it quite challenging to film in here because every time I approach a station, there is always somebody at the buffet. But they have some fantastic desserts here, some nice pastries. That is one thing with an all-inclusive holiday. Meal times can be quite busy. <laughs> but it can be quite um, full on at the busy period. So try to do meal times while it is quiet in an all-inclusive. <laughs> That's my little tip for you. Oh, is that jelly? Looks nice. Fruit here though is absolutely delicious. I had some really nice mango this morning. It was so ripe and lovely. And then they have a little ice cream station here with different flavors and toppings and squirty cream. And yeah, plenty of space to sit inside or outside on the terrace. There's also a really wide selection of cheeses here. And then we've got some dips and things like that too. Nice little nibbly bits, olives, pickled onions. Yeah, the food has been really good here. I can't fault it really. There's plenty of choice. There is lots of different options on different days and then on the same day you get lots of choice as well so it doesn't feel repetitive <laughs> I think is what I'm trying to say. I feel like there's quite a good range of local dishes and things that you could try that maybe you haven't had back at home and there's also lots of the typical home comforts that I know a lot of people do enjoy as well when they're on holiday so I think something for everybody. Cheers everybody. Right I'm gonna have a little bit of time by the pool now. I'm gonna get stuck into my book and yeah, that's probably me for the rest of the day. So I'll catch you probably a bit later when it's time to get showered, get changed and head out for some dinner. Thought you might want to see what I brought to the pool with me. I've got my sunglasses which have <laughs> broken, the second pair on this trip. I don't know what I'm doing to them. This bag's been really handy. I've got this from Primark for £7 and it is the perfect crossbody size. I actually had this on the flight as well. Did a little reel of that on Instagram and it's a great size for sitting in the emergency exit row because you can pop it in the little holder in front of you at the seat. Then I picked up a couple of magazines at the book area. I'm reading That's Life and Take a Break. I've got to bring my pen down because I really want to do the crosswords in these. And then I've also got the book that I'm currently reading, which was a Christmas gift from Luke, How to Kill Your Family. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Very dark and very funny as well. And then I've got my sunscreen. I picked up this one while I was out here. This is a Garnier SPF 30 oil. It's really nice. And I got this one from Superdrug just to bring a basic one with me. This is good because it's got the five stars on there, which means it is a, a very good sunscreen. Always look out for those stars where you can. And this was 100 mil, so I was able to bring that on the flight and do pack your sunscreen when you come here. It can be deceptive, even though there is now clouds in the sky. I've seen lots of sunburn since I've been here. We're very close to the sun, so do be careful. It is 6.25 and I've just left the pool. Just got back to the room. The sun is setting. Someone's still having a dip in the pool. And yeah, over there is the restaurant. It's lovely and quiet now. get a glass of Prosecco at the bar. It is now time to get ready for dinner. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna have a shower and then we'll head on out. Okay, I am all showered and changed. I've popped on this shirt that you may have seen in my recent video. I got this in Primark and it was giving me tile giant vibes. I'm not sure how we're feeling about it here. I'm feeling it here. <laughs> I'm also wearing some classic chinos and also these shoes these loafers which i've had from new look for such a long time and the reason i keep packing these ones is because they are very lightweight and they're very versatile they're brown and they tend to go with everything i'm keeping that in mind if ever i invest in a more premium pair i will definitely be thinking about how versatile 
these have been and the design and the comfort because these are a pair that I've reached for many times. That is my outfit of the evening. I feel very comfortable and yeah, should I tuck this shirt in maybe? Yeah, I think we'll go with tucked in. And I've got some tips for you if you're packing for a holiday, your holiday wardrobe, I would stick with some really basic colors. So I would either go with lots of beige or kind of camel or whites, also navy blue and blacks or browns and kind of mix and match those and then you can then integrate them with loads of different outfits, if that makes sense. So yeah, a little tip that I saw Jane McDonald share on her cruise program. So you are welcome, but I think it's really good advice. So yeah, if you're packing minimal, I would suggest to keep everything kind of basic in terms of your color range. And then you can always go with a little pop of color, maybe by the pool. I think the place to add the color is definitely in the swimwear, as you might've seen with my pink swimming trunks, <laughs> if you follow me over on Instagram. One thing that I forgot to bring on this holiday was a mini speaker, and I absolutely love getting ready in the room and in the bathroom. I just really enjoy that time on holiday. And one thing I missed was the mini speaker because it doesn't sound quite the same just coming from the phone. So yeah, that is definitely something that I'll be adding to my packing list. And I'm thinking of creating some packing lists for different holidays, depending on where you're going. So if you would like those, let me know. Quick tip is to always pack your sample sized fragrances for holidays. I love this because you get to try them out and also they sometimes will give you a memory of a holiday when it's a new holiday. So I've got some Bentley here, I've got some Ormonde Jane. I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, let's go for dinner. As you can see at evening time, the place transforms. It's a very different atmosphere now. No one at the pool and the stars are out. You get a great view of all these stars here in Tenerife, something we definitely don't see very often in London. So let's head to dinner. Okay, so this is the a la carte menu. What would you choose from here? I'm tempted to go for the salmon toast with tartar sauce, I think, and olive sauce. And I think I'll probably go for the chicken skewer. Well, dinner was delicious. I'm now up in the top bar. It's called the Hello Bar. Let's see what's going on up here. And we have some live music in here this evening. my nightcap. <laughs> that is the size of a Bailey's here. A lady at the bar actually said, is that a triple? And yeah, <laughs> I just asked for a Bailey's, but maybe you need to say when to stop pouring here. <laughs> Good morning. It is another beautiful day here. I'm up and down by the pool. I'm going to go for one last swim because it's time to head home today. The flight is just after 2 p.m. It's quite nice because checkout is at midday, so you get to keep the room and use the facilities in there until you leave. So it's actually worked out quite well. So I'm going to have a little swim and then I'll pop up for a shower before heading back to Gatwick. I hear there's been snow in the UK. I think Manchester Airport has closed. I think Gatwick's okay, fingers crossed. But yes, I think I'll end the vlog here and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this little look around an all-inclusive hotel in Tenerife with me and also the little trips that we did. If you did, do give this video a little thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're new here, to click subscribe for brand new videos every single week. So I'll leave you with a bit of the Tenerife sunshine. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.